true hands-free driving just about everywhere. That is what GM says is coming with the Ultra Cruise system. That's our text to nation. Joining us from GM is Assistant Chief Engineer of Ultra Cruise, Tony Kratz. Hi, Tony. Hey, nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Well, GM is announcing the plans for the deployment of Ultra Cruise, which is designed to allow hands-free driving in 95% of all driving situations. Tell us more about those plans. Yeah, thanks for having me. So Ultra Cruise is continuing on the excellence of Super Cruise, where we're going to, like you said, offer um, hands-free driving destination to destination. We're going to increase the capability over time as we deploy the technology to the vehicles and the features to the vehicle. So you think about it on a normal drive from home to work, you plug in your route, and Ultra Cruise will hands-free navigate those roads, make the turns, um, get to your destination, all hands-free, get on off the highway. Uh, leveraging the driver monitoring system, uh, just like Super Cruise, we will ensure the customer is engaged and paying attention uh, so we can continue safe hands-free route. And we'll talk more about that. So this is first going to be available in the very high-end Cadillac Celestique, if I'm saying that right? Yeah, you said it right, correct. Tell, tell us about that and what's uh, going to be really special about, about this. Uh, the vehicle, Ultra Cruise, we're going to ship Ultra Cruise hardware um, on the vehicle in 24. And when uh, Ultra Cruise is ready with safe deployment, you know, we're really following the safe deployment strategy of not just putting uh, a feature or a system out there just because, uh, but we'll have the hardware on the vehicle shipping in 24. And over the year, we'll update uh, capabilities over time, uh, leveraging our OTA technology to increase the capability and features of Ultra Cruise over time. Well, Let's get into the user experience here, the driver experience. Uh, tell us how this is going to work and uh, what this experience is going to be like for your customers. Yeah, the experience for the customer is, picture this, you're at home, you go get in your car, you plug in a navigation route, and you start driving the vehicle, Ultra Cruise is enabled, and as you drive the vehicle, you get on a supported road, the light bar, the same light bar that we have in Super Cruise with the same driver monitoring system, watching your, that you're paying attention. The light bar will go green and Ultra Cruise will navigate through the roads, make the right hand, left hand turns, get in, on and off the highway and take you to your destination uh, is the main experience for the customer for Ultra Cruise. But what's important is um, the user experience on the screen, you will see what we call a visualization of the road and what the sensing and perception system can see. And it's very important that we are consistent in our performance uh, the maneuvers um, and the response of the vehicle. So you'll be able to see what the vehicle is seeing on the dash on the screen and help you build that confidence that the vehicle is performing the way it should. And like with driver monitoring, um, the system will see if you're not paying attention or if there's a situation, we'll hand back to the customer safely so the customer can take control of that maneuver or continue driving if needed. Well, tell us more about that. What What is being used here to, to monitor the driver and, and make sure that uh, he or she is paying full attention here? And I don't know if there's anything that regulates the, their behavior, the, you know, how they're driving as well. Yeah, the driver monitoring system is comprised of a camera that's on the steering wheel, behind the steering wheel, and a light bar and some LED, infrared LEDs. We're watching your eyes to make sure your eyes are trained to look at the road. Uh, the moment you start taking your eyes off the road uh, for extended amount of time, depending on the situation, we will start flashing and escalating um, the light bar, buzzing the seat, chiming to bring you back at the loop. Uh, when I say bring you back in loop, to bring you back in control of the vehicle. So we're anticipating the path of the vehicle, but we're also paying attention to where you're looking. So if somebody's trying to eat a sandwich or drink a cup of coffee or out looking and turning their head for extended amount of time, and we don't feel that that is, that is appropriate, we're gonna flash and escalate and bring the driver back in the loop. Uh, it's the same technology and implementation that we put in the Super Cruise that we've been using for years in Super Cruise. Um, and we really believe that this is critical uh, to have a good experience for the customer, but also ensure that they are not becoming complacent with the feature as well. And uh, this gets better over time, you said, over yeah. the air updates, right? Yeah. Yeah, this gets better, gets better over time. Uh, our engineers and our technology will be gathering data over time and introducing more capabilities, um, updated maps, um, 
feature enhancements over time. So continually uh, on a regular basis, uh, Cadence will, will, will publish later. Um, we'll provide increased feature updates. So the feature and the technology, just like Super Cruise has added trailering and mileage expansion, we'll have our own feature expansion plan that will keep the vehicle relevant and updated for the customers as they own it throughout their life cycle. And is this, this is going to indicate to me as a driver where I can turn this on and uh, yeah. where it's not available? Yeah. Once you get in the vehicle, you can essentially enable Ultra Cruise. And when um, if you have a route, it's going to automatically go green and you can let go. Um, if you got to make a turn, it'll do, do what we call a yellow light bar color. Um, it'll hand back in advance. You can make maybe a roundabout. Like a roundabout is something we don't support. We can't see through it. There's too many variables. It's a complex scenario. So as you approach the roundabout, the light bar will go yellow. We call it a non-urgent escalation. You'll drive through the, the roundabout. And then when you get back on the, on the regular street and we determine you're, you're going safe, that's the right map and all that, it'll go green. You can let go. So when that, as long as Ultra Cruise is enabled, customer push, um, the route will automatically, when it's on that route, it'll go active. And are there certain situations, other situations as well that, that we know of at this point where, where it's going to say no? <laughs> yeah, there's, I'm, I'm sure there's a bunch. Uh, we use an example of an intersection in Chicago that probably has five different roads that come in at it at all different angles past 90 degrees. And it's like, which way do you go? I mean, even a normal person will have to like, you know, look multiple times and think through that. So really complex intersections where it's, hard to see vehicles around corners or determine what the right path is, we'll hand back safely. Now, over time, as we get more data, as we get more vehicles on the road, we'll learn and there may be scenarios and situations and maneuvers in that 95% that we start adding onto the system. Do you see this primarily as a, as a safety feature or is it, do you see it more as a, just making me more comfortable and can, making driving more convenient? Yeah, this is an expansion of our automated driving portfolio feature set from Super Cruise to Ultra Cruise. Uh, so we do see this as an automated driving capability, not a safety feature. It's for the convenience and, and comfort of, of, of the driver primarily then, I suppose. Yeah, and I'll tell you like a, a little quick story here. I've taken a vehicle down to Florida. We drove well, a couple years ago as a Yukon with Super Cruise. We drove straight through from Michigan down to Florida. Uh, wife and I just switched. And when we arrived, we arrived down you know, in Orlando and I was shocked that, you know, I got out of the vehicle and I wasn't really tired. Um, I think that there takes a level of stress off the driving. You can always get back in and drive if you want to drive, but, you know, it's an automated driving, you know, feature for the customer. And I think it's really helpful uh, just for the typical driving scenarios. Terrific. So in the future, I mean, we're, we're, you're coming out with this initially on the Cadillac Celestique, a very high-end pricing on, on that. Uh, what do you see happening as far as bringing this into the mainstream? Uh, we do have a, an extensive rollout plan that we'll be announcing in the future, but it's, it, it's going to be there, not just Cadillac. It will be there for, for I guess, just about every vehicle eventually, I, I suppose, eventually. Uh, we, we do have a rollout plan that we'll announce. I can't go to the details of which vehicles and how many, but it's coming. Very exciting. Well, congratulations on, on the work that you're doing there and on this announcement. Tony Kratz, thank you for spending time with us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.